Deuteralite is used as a cold sterilant to disinfect and clean heat sensitive equipments such as dialysis instruments, surgical instruments, suction bottles, bronchoscopes, endoscopes, ear, nose and throat instruments. This chemical is also used as a tissue fixative in histology and pathology labs and as a hardening agent in the development of x-rays. Neutralehyde is a colorless oily liquid with pungent odor. Hospital workers used, use it often in diluted form mixed with water. The strength of the glutaraldehyde and water solutions typically range from 1% to 50%, but other formulations are also available. Health effects have been reported in health workers due to exposure to glutaraldehyde. The adverse effects of the glutaraldehyde are noticed because of inhalation of glutaraldehyde or its contact with the skin. So most of the adverse effects are related to the respiratory system or breathing or with the skin disorders. So the common adverse effects are the throat and lung irritation, asthma or asthma-like symptoms and breathing difficulty, nose irritation, sneezing, wheezing or nosebleed. Exposure to the eyes may also call blurring of the eyes or conjunctiva. In the skin, especially the hands, the patient, the person who has had contact may develop rash, contact or allergic dermatitis, staining of the hands or heaves. Some patients also have headache or nausea. Hospitals often get exposed to glutaraldehyde and comes with these symptoms. And these mostly are hospital staff who work in area with cold sterilizing procedure that use glutaraldehyde, for example, in gastroenterology or cardiology department. Often the hospital staff who work in operating rooms or dialysis units or endoscopy units or intensive care units, the glutaraldehyde formulations are often used in infection control procedures. People working in central supplies who use glutaraldehyde as sterilant, the research technicians, the researcher and pharmacy personnel who either prepare alkaline solution or fix tissues in histology and pathology lab they can also get exposed to glutaraldehyde. And beside these, the laboratory technician who sterilize bench tops with glutaraldehyde solutions and workers who develop x-ray. Hospitals often get exposed to glutaraldehyde and comes with these symptoms. Is it important to know that, know the procedures during which workers usually get exposed to glutaraldehyde either by breathing it or by having a contact with the skin. So these procedures are the cold sterilization of surgical instruments in endoscopy and surgical units. When the glutaraldehyde solution is poured in and out of sterilizing pan or when sterilized equipment is removed from the sterilizer pan. Secondly, disinfection of histology, pathology or laboratory tabletops. During this time, patients get exposed to glutaraldehyde vapors and fumes. Thirdly, the mixing or activation of various glutaraldehyde solutions, tissue fixation in histology labs, and development of x rays. During these procedures, the workers usually come in contact with the glutaraldehyde. I think it is important to know how one should protect oneself from exposure to glutaraldehyde. The following are the ways with which you can protect yourself from getting exposed to glutaraldehyde while working in these kind of clinical setups. Firstly, always use a local exhaust ventilation which keeps ventilating the rooms and removes the glutaraldehyde fumes out of the room must keep the glutaraldehyde bath under a fume hood when possible. Secondly, we should only use enough glutaraldehyde to perform the required disinfection procedure and excess should not be taken. Secondly, we must avoid the 
the contact of glutaryldehyde glutaryldehyde solution with the skin so we must use gloves and apron for that purpose secondly the hands must be washed after handling glutaryldehyde so that any residual that is left on the hand is removed we must wear goggles and face shield while handling glutaryldehyde so that the eyes can be protected from the glutaryldehyde and all glutaryldehyde solutions must be sealed and covered properly after the use so the container must be tightly capped after it is used and the people who are involved in the use of glutaryldehyde must be properly trained in these safety measures i think it is important to be familiar with and one should be able to recognize the sources of glutaryldehyde exposure if it is happening to anyone around and secondly in case the skin or eye contact has happened with the glutaryldehyde fumes or vapors then it should be washed immediately with water and in case the glutaryldehyde has spilled on the floor or on the table it must be immediately cleaned hope you like the video feel free to share your views on this issue in the comment section check the description for similar videos and product links